Okay, question 13. It's asking us to put these order in order and put the smallest first. So we need to understand about mixed numbers. And we need to understand about improper or top heavy fractions. And we need to be comfortable getting between those. So let's have a look. Let's have a look here. Converted 37 over 8 to a mixed number. So we've got 37 eighths. And we want to convert that to a whole number and a fraction part. So, well, in 37 eighths, well, let's write out our eighths. It is 8. 16, 24, 32, 40, 40, oh I've gone too far, 48. I only want to go up to 37. So getting to 40 is too many. So 37 over 8 tells me, because it's a top heavy fraction, it tells me I've got 1, 2, 3, 4, 4 whole numbers within this because there's more fraction on top of them than parts. So four four holes because I'm going to go up to the fourth uh, of my eight times table. But I want to get to 37 really that only gets me to 32 so I need five more eighths. Okay so they're both written the same. This one's written as a whole number and a fraction. This one's written as an improper fraction. So this one we call a mixed number, and this one is improper fraction. Let's convert the other way now. So if we can consider this, and we consider this has got three holes, hasn't it? So it's three holes, hole plus two over seven. Now that's quite straightforward to go because, well, in a hole, has seven sevenths, doesn't it? So we've got really we've got twenty-one sevenths from the whole numbers plus the extra two sevenths, which we've got left over here. So three holes is twenty-one sevenths, and two sevenths is what we've got left over. So overall, as a top heavy fraction, we've got twenty-one, twenty-two, twenty-three, twenty-three sevenths. And that's it, it's an improper fraction. So let's have a look and see how we get on. Let's have a look here. 21 over 9. So let's think about our 9s. Our 9s go 9, 18, 27, 28, 29, 30, 31, 32, 33, 34, 35, 36, 37, 38, 39, 40, 41, 42, 43, 44, 45, 46, 47, 48, 49, 50, 51, 52, 53, 54, 55, 56, 57, 58, 59, 60, 61, 62, 63, 64, 65, Left over, yeah. So let's look at this one. Uh, that's a point one. How about this one? So, in each one of these, we have three thirds. So, one whole, oops, one whole is equal to three thirds. So we've got nine thirds here. And another one here is 10 thirds overall. So, oops, yeah, 10 thirds. Let's see if we can do these ones without. 7 6 means 7 6. This is a bit weird. 7 over 6. That means we get one hole and we should have one sixth left over. We should have one hole plus one sixth left over. We've got 10 here. Ah, there's our hole. So we've got to have one sixth. So the numerator's got 10 times bigger. So this must be 60. Not in simplified form. This one would be better. It would be better to write this answer as one hole and one sixth. But just to check our understanding, you can see that yeah, actually we could write as 10 sixtieths. Let's have a look. Ah. 7, 6, this is the question we just did. One hole, because 6 goes in there once, with one bit left over. Let's have a look. Hmm. Okay. Two holes and nine tenths. Well, there's 20 tenths in here. There's a tenth 
10 tenths in each hole, so that makes 20 tenths in this bit here, plus 9 more makes 29 tenths. That's all. Oh, 27 over 8. Our 8s go. How do our 8s go? 8, 16, 24, 32. Ah, oh, we don't need that one. So it's three holes and then three left over. Okay, good. I think we're cracking this. So let's go back to our question. Put them in order. Well, let's put them all in the same type first. Let's all put them as top heavy fractions and then we'll be able to compare. Oh no, let's put we can do it as all as top heavy or as all as mixed numbers. That's excuse me. So this one I leave two and three eighths. This one can become well eight. 16, 24, 24 but it's too big, so it's two holes, and then one, eight, 16, I need to get to 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, so that's five eighths, okay, so it's bigger than that one, let's look at this one, nine fourths, so fourths go four, eight, 12, I know 12 is too many, so that one's two holes, and then I want nine quarters, so it's sort of one quarter left over. And then this one over here is already written as two and a half. Okay, so we know that these two, which this one's bigger because this is two and five eighths, this is two and three eighths. We need to write these ones in eighths. This one, a quarter, is really two out of eight. And over here, it's really four out of eight because a half is four, half of eight is four, so there we go. So let's put them in order then. Which one's the smallest? This one's the smallest. So let's put it in the original form. Nine over four, and let's tick it off. Then it's the three eighths one, isn't it? So it's two holes in three eighths. Let's tick it off. And then it's the four eighths or the half, which is two and a half. Tick it off. And that leaves us with the 2 and 5 eighths, which we know is 21 over 8 is the largest one. Okay, a little bit tricky, quite a lot of calculations going on in this video.